that's really why I'm here, because I want a new beginning and I want to love myself more and more. I didn't want to live another day like that. And I thought the only way to ever become the person that I want to be and to love myself is to leave him. And that's one of the reasons why I really want this makeover because I'm becoming more beautiful on the inside and I just want the whole picture of healing. I don't want any remnant of sadness or unworthiness in my life and I want it to just shine. Women around the world understand that aging can be difficult and often how they've aged does not reflect who they really are. Hi, my name is Carla and I came in from just outside of the Phoenix area. I am 57 years old, but on the inside I really feel like I'm in my 30s. Beauty is far more than skin deep and often the desire for a makeover comes from the soul of the child within. I was uh, born and raised in West Central Minnesota, a small town to a uh, conservative family. My parents were loving, but they were so into being uh, humble and having humility and serving others that you were never to shine or stand out because that would mean you were arrogant. I chose to be like the perfect student, the perfect daughter. I wanted to look beautiful every day. I didn't want to have any area of my life where I could be criticized. So I, I thought I would be loved more if I was beautiful and perfect. And it was really a, a fine line of every day trying to be perfect and to juggle that. It was, it was really difficult, but it, it got me through and I didn't get any criticism if I always was perfect. And I went right from my parents' household to being married to my husband at a young age. I was told by my conservative church that the hot, my highest calling is to please my husband, make my husband happy. And it really elevated him up here and me down there. And it was almost like it was a good thing that I was down here because that meant that I was humble and had humility. And that's how my parents I even told my church, I said, well, I feel like I'm being emotionally abused, verbally abused. Oh, no, you need to be in the back burner. If you have to be yelled at or emotionally abused, that's okay because your husband will turn around. I was really beaten down to nothing. I would just like, Lord Jesus, take me home today. If you don't take me home to heaven today, I will facilitate it myself. And thank you. Thankfully, I, I didn't. I had enough to live for with my children and that, and there was something in me that knew I didn't do anything wrong and I deserved to, to be loved. But it had just gotten so bad that I didn't want to live another day like that. And I thought the only way to ever become the person that I want to be and to love myself is to leave him, but it took me 35 years. I don't have to have the toilet paper roll this way. I don't have to squeeze the toothpaste tube this way. I can stay out as late as I want. I can watch TV, the channel that I want. There's nobody telling me I'm stupid or ugly or controlling everything I do. I want other women to experience that, that are in bad marriages or bad um, relationships, that they don't have to be there. They don't have to live that life because you're worthy and you're beautiful and you're strong. And that's one of the reasons why I really want this makeover because I'm becoming more beautiful on the inside and I just want the whole picture of healing. I don't want any remnant of sadness or unworthiness in my life and I want it to just shine and, and, and be beautiful and a, a new beginning for me. So that's really why I'm here, because I want a new beginning and I want to love myself more and more. Ah, thank you. Ah. Did you know that Makeover Guy is the first and only company in the world that offers this type of free content? Though we love what we do, we do need you to continue. Just one video like this takes weeks to create. We rely partially on advertising, but our value to the advertisers is based on your engagement, interaction in the comments section, and how long you watch the video. The cost of the makeover does not begin to cover expenses, but these women know that and are willing to bear body and soul to help us uplift, inspire, and inform millions like you around the world. So please interact, engage with each other, help us by answering questions you read, 
If you'd like to say thank you or buy us a cup of coffee, lunch, or whatever you'd like to give, you can do that by clicking the contributions link in the description. And please write a note to let us know your thoughts. We appreciate and honestly, we rely on your contributions to continue. Through this experience, I want to leave here feeling pretty, feminine, striking, and enchanting. <laughs> and now, let's see the big movie. I feel amazing and wonderful. I just love it. I think through this experience, it's given me the confidence that I am enough. Before, I never felt that I was enough. I wasn't pretty enough, I wasn't smart enough. And now it's like, I am enough. I'm more than enough. I like me again, so I didn't know that I'd find that this weekend, but I did. I love learning what I should wear, what would look good for my body type, um, the makeup, the hair, just getting to know you guys, and just being free the whole time. It's like I could just be me and be free, and it was so incredibly fun. It was like I was on a vacation. I was so afraid that my hair would be really short and that I would look masculine, and I definitely don't look masculine, so that fear is gone. I love it. It's soft and feminine. Surprising part is that I'm smaller than I ever thought I was, and I'm prettier than I ever thought I was. When you've been beaten down, you think, oh, I'm just average, I'm poor me, I'm Eeyore, whatever, but it's like, I am pretty and I am worthy and I'm, I'm me and I like me. So I can spit the toothpaste and I don't have to rinse it. I mean, I wanted to, but I didn't have to do these things. I can watch whatever I want on TV. Oh my gosh, I can stay up till midnight. And I was just like free as a bird. And I was just like, oh. For the first time? It was so incredibly nice. And I'm like, I'm never going back. I'm okay to be alone. I don't need a husband. I need to shine on my own. And I feel so much stronger and confident um, because of this experience and that I can carry with me through the rest of my life. And I'm just really excited about that. Any relationship I have, the confidence will come, will shine through and I'll be more authentic and you, you can open up more when you're more authentic. When you love yourself, you reach out more to other people. I'm not self-conscious anymore, so I have time to concentrate on other people. If I hadn't done what I did and made those changes, I would have been an empty shell of myself and I needed to move forward and embrace life. I'm just really listening to my heart and I'm moving forward and I'm happy for the first time in years. I'd just like to encourage any of you who need to make changes in your life to just embrace that now and move forward and just say, say goodbye to whatever it is that you need to let go and start loving life like I'm like I'm gonna do I am I'm free I'm free